Welcome back to Albany County Fasteners, Fasteners 101. Today we're going to be talking about and demonstrating the proper installation of masonry screws, which are also called tapcons. Let's get started. These are masonry screws, or tapcons as they call them. Tapcon is a um, brand specific name, but it's become more gen generic over the years. Um, I have two different sizes. They come in two different diameters, uh, the typical screw. Um, you have uh, what they call a 3 16th inch diameter, and you have a quarter inch diameter. Those are the two main dia dia diameters that come um, in a Tapcon screw. Um, they come in in the 316 uh, diameter, they come in up to four inches long. They come in a hex head or they come in a Phillips drive head or a flat head, which allows you to drive, let's just say, plywood and not have a head sticking out of the wood. Um, they come, the 316 come, comes in in lengths up to four inches in length and the quarter inch come into lengths up to six inches in length. Um, as you can see here with this particular Tapcon and this particular one is the Tapcon brand, um, you'll see there's only about an inch, an inch and a quarter of thread here and then you'll see the rest of the shank being smooth with no threads and that's fine I get calls sometimes where customers ask well how come it's not threaded all the way I need to thread it all the way up well if it was threaded all the way up this screw would heat up and it would just snap on you the key is that a concrete screw just needs about an inch, an inch to an inch and a quarter of grip and it will hold loads of, uh, of material being fastened to either block walls or concrete uh, structures. So I also have here, I have knuckle drivers, magnetic knuckle drivers, which will go inside of my impact gun. And I have two sets of drill bits. So I have the standard drill bit for a quarter, quarter inch diameter. You use a 3 16th inch diameter drill bit. And sometimes they do come with the Tapcons. And for a 3 16th diameter Tapcon, you use a 5 32nd drill bit. And that's pretty standard throughout all the masonry screws. This is just a plain shank drill bit. You put it in a standard drill and you drill. Then I have here a drill bit that is for a hammer drill. This is a, an SDS plus bit. This will cut your time in drilling uh, in half, if not faster. Um, And I have a hammer drill here. It's a Bosch. This thing is uh, the most standard. They call it a bulldog. Um, it's one of the most widely used um, hammer drills out there. And uh, I've had this for many years, and I've been very happy with it. And it's still going. So I also brought some tape. So we're going to mark out on our bit before we drill. Um, how far into the concrete we want to go. So I have some blue tape here. I have the screw that I'm going to be screwing in. Um, so I'm just going to set with this blue tape how far down into the concrete or block I'm going to be going into. I'm just going to make it so this goes a little further than what I need. You know, if you're putting material to the concrete, obviously, then you wouldn't go as far. You do halfway or something like that. 
So I'm just going to select that amount there and I'm going to put my tape on there. So now I know where to stop. I know that um, I'm not going to drill more than I really need to. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to demonstrate for you with a regular bit. I'm also going to demonstrate with a hammer drill how fast it, it goes. Um, so this way when you have your project you know what you should be buying. Whoops. I don't need that much. Okay, that looks good there. Throw that tape on there. All right, now I have my stop point. Okay, I'm gonna drill this hole with a standard bit that would come with your Tapcon. My battery is dead. So I had to stop there for a minute to change out the battery. It was dying on me. So I'm just going to pick up where I left off. Okay, so I finished uh, drilling that hole, um, and that's with the standard bit. Now I'm going to drill another hole right next to it with the hammer drill. So you can see that I think that was better than 50%. I would say it maybe took 25% to drill that hole versus just a standard drill. Always clean your hole. And now I'm going to grab two screws. First I'm going to drive in a quarter inch quarter inch um, Tapcon. This is an inch and a quarter long. And I'm going to grab my other battery here. And this one's a hex, this is a hex head, slotted hex head. I'm, uh, I'm gonna drive in first, and then I'm gonna drive in the quarter inch Phillips head. That baby's in there. Now I'm gonna do a um, Phillips flat head. changing out the bit is a uh, flathead that I'm going to drive in. What's key with a flathead is that you make sure with a quarter inch you have to have a number three tip. And these are our Vega bits that we sell here and these bits are awesome. We have very little problems with these. Um, you can see that this is uh, fits in here very very tight and that is really what you need when you're driving in concrete screws there you go so I, I can even go a little further with that if I was putting a piece of wood to the concrete that would just pull right into the to the 2x4 or plywood and it would be flush. Um, concrete screws can be removed. The threads that are on here thread the concrete going in. 
and that's these threads here, they thread the concrete as they go, as the screw is driven in. Um, I'm going to pop out the other one. And that's the nice thing about concrete screws, you can back them out. There you go, out to come. There you go. Subscribe, like, comment. Visit us at albanycountyfasteners.com for 50,000 SKUs right off the rack, ready to ship. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.